So you've recorded a video with your phone and now you need to edit it for YouTube. Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my easy step-by-step -step process for editing your video with just your iPhone. Ready to get started on YouTube, but not sure what gear you need? Get your copy of the free Ultimate Video Gear Guide where we share the best cameras, lighting, and audio setup for every YouTube budget. Visit thinkgearguide.com to get started today. Hey, I'm Heather Torres with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video and social media. And on this channel, we do tech gear reviews, strategy videos, and tutorials just like this. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Now this video is a video in a four part video series where we're helping you learn how to shoot, edit, and upload your videos directly from your iPhone. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link it in the YouTube card and down in the description box below. But in this video, I'm gonna walk you through editing on your phone, so let's jump into the video. Okay, so I'm on my phone screen and we're going to use the app InShot. I like the app InShot because there's a paid version, but there's also a free version. And that's the one we're going to use for this tutorial. Now you're gonna wanna upload your video file. You click video, then you click new. When you click new, it's gonna bring up your album. You're going to import or upload the video file that you've created with your phone. I've already done that here, so I'm gonna click on that video. Now we are gonna head into the editing process. I like this because there are three different options you can use for editing your video. First, you can trim off the front and back of the video. You can also cut sections out from the middle of the video, or you can use this tool called the split tool. I like this tool because it has this option for a multi-split, and that allows you to go through when you know the time code for your video of where you need to cut out your mistakes. That allows you to go through and make all of your edits in one shot. Now, if you click the button right here, it says if you want to revert back if you made a mistake, it's actually going to remove all of the splits from that edit. So I like to do a few at a time, go through, watch the video, and then go back through and make more multi-splits. When you're done, click the checkbox. And now when you hit the video file, you can see that you have multiple files that you can go through. And if you need to take one out, you press delete. And now you have the full file. What I also love about this feature is that at the end, when you get to the end, if you want to click on it again and just go back into trim, you can then cut off the end of one of those sections that you've edited. The next step in the editing process is to add on our text. So you click the text button and I like to add text to be able to add social proof. So if I want to put in my handle for Instagram, let's say, I can grab that and I can actually move it around the screen. I can click enter and then the text shows up at the top. I can make that go out or I can have that be really short. Then there's the stick sticker function. Click the sticker function and if you wanna get like your Instagram, you can click Instagram. It pulls it up right there and then you can put it right next to it. Move that around on your screen. And then you can actually move that to be in the same alignment with the text. Now, if you click on the arrow, I like that you can go to the end of the video clip if you want that to show the entire time. So when the video ends or you can go all the way over and you can allow that to only be for a certain amount of time. You can also split it. So if you wanna cut it here and you wanna delete this section, you can do that. So you have a lot of editing options in here. Now I would go through and I would make title cards for all of my points in my video. Now, if you want your text to move in and out, you have the option of being able to move that text. So you can have it come in and out. You can have it move from the side. You can time how long it takes. So if I wanted it to go in and out like that, you have a lot of options of how that can come into the frame. And that's what I would do for my text. Now, one option you have is to actually add in an intro card. So if I wanted to go in here in my edit and I wanted to split at this time code. And now I wanna add in a intro. I could go in and I can select that video file. Now I already have an intro pre-made, but this is not necessary. This is just an option if you wanna add an intro to your video. The next thing we're gonna do is add our end card. Now, if you wanna create an end card here 
on InShot, all you need to do is click the arrow at the very top and you're gonna save this file as a draft. Then you're gonna go into photo. And now I need to crop this into a 16 by nine so that it can be the end card for my YouTube video. Now I like to just add an image on here and then over in the blank space is where two videos on my end card are going to show up on YouTube. So I keep it at 16 by nine and let's say I wanna put on here, subscribe. All right, I'm done with that. And now I wanna save this image. Okay, now I wanna add the outro. So I'm gonna to go to the end of the video. I'm gonna click the button that says add. I'm gonna to go to photos and I'm gonna add that end card. Now this end card is five seconds long. What's great about YouTube is that your end cards can be 20 seconds long. So I wanna use all of that time that I can. So I'm gonna press the copy, 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 and now I have an end card that will play for 20 seconds. The next step is I wanna add music to my intro and my outro. So I'm gonna scroll back through. And there is actually a wide selection of music here on InShot. So I'm gonna hit tracks and you can go through and listen to all the different types of music. You can also import from your iTunes and they do have different, uh, different music that you can use on here. And I really like it. So I'm gonna add this one. Now in the music file itself, you can play with the volume. So I want it to be pretty low and I can have it fade out. And I only want it to go to my intro. All right, so I want this to go to the end of my intro. And so I'm gonna cut it right there. I'm gonna split it off. I'm gonna delete that side. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna click volume again, and I'm gonna make sure that's just really low so you can hear me, but you do get a little bit of that music. Then I'm gonna scroll to the end of my video. And right at the end of my video, when that end card starts, I'm gonna add that same track on there. And I'm just gonna split it here. And because I'm not talking during that time, I'm just gonna keep the volume at a normal volume level. Now, what I also like is that you can add sound effects. So if you wanted to go through when you um, say like subscribe or click like, you have the option to add in different effects. So if I wanted to add in like a popular bubble effect, I can have the bubble effect happen when I say hit subscribe and the bubble sound would come on. So you can add different sound effects to help uh, allow your videos to come alive more. And now that we have our full video edited, we are ready to go. We are going to just save and export that. And that is going to export into your album. All right, so now your video is ready to be uploaded to YouTube. I like to keep my videos really simple, but if you wanted to, you could add B-roll or additional photos or even transition cards. But like I said, I like to keep mine really simple so I can get the content out there. So question of the day, what type of videos do you create for YouTube? I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. And I can't wait to help you in video number four, where we're gonna be uploading this video to YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.